Hello, my name is John Garcia. I'm a filmmaker from Portland, Oregon. Uh, I'm a director and a producer and an editor. And today I'm going to show you some tips on editing with Premiere Pro. Um, the tools we'll mainly use in Premiere are the cut tool as uh, one. And uh, you, can, you can just press C and click. And it'll go all the way down. There we go. All right. And, uh, or we can do it just all in one scene by, by selecting C and Shift if you're on Mac. And that'll get rid of everything. And then you select it and you press Delete and it goes away. Uh, my name is Adrian Yanez and I'm a mixed martial artist. Hello, how long have you been? I've been training for MMA for... Cool, so maybe that's the, that's the next thing we wanna say maybe. So I'm gonna cut this and cut all the way through and I'm gonna delete, and I'm gonna press this, and now it's closing up. Okay, so. Listen, I'm a mixed martial artist. I've been. So, I'll get to audio in a minute, but uh, I don't know why this is so low, but it is. I'm gonna look this up. All right, here we are. So this is our story. I'm Adrian Yanez, and I'm a mixed martial artist. I've been training for MMA for, for about like 12 years. For about 12 years. I so we don't really want to repeat maybe, so I'm going to cut here. Sorry, when I was 15, my first actual fight. Maybe I want to say, uh, 15, my first. Maybe, uh, maybe I don't need the 15 part, so I'm going to cut here. And I'm going to, I'm going to delete. And now it's closing, so this is what we're going to say. I'm Adrian Yanez, and I'm a mixed martial artist. I've been training for MMA for, for about like 12 years. My first actual fight was whenever I was 17, I was still in high school and everything. So from 17 to about... And just an example, you can cut your story however you want, but I just want to give you an example of uh, cutting something together here. I'm a mixed martial artist. I've been training for MMA for for about like 12 years. Uh, for, for me, I've always, I was, I was, for, for me, for, for, Okay, so we'll just try this. I'm, I'm cutting. And once again, we're just moving pictures around, essentially. And the cut tool is really, it's kind of really all you need, you know? Uh, I, was, I was the youngest. I was like, I'm the youngest brother. But also, my older brother and my other cousin, my older cousin, we always hang around, hung around a lot. So I was kind of always like the little one who got picked on. So I just kind of had to toughen up and learn and kind of fight back whenever I needed to, you know? So that, that's a good, good place to, to stop for just for an example, okay? So we've cut um, a bit of story together in our interview. Now, we can't necessarily just have those hard cuts like that. Jump cuts in an interview don't normally work, you know? So um, here we have some, uh, yeah, we have a B-roll sequence. Cool. And so when it comes to B-roll, what I did when I was selecting B-roll is I went through all the B-roll that I had and... Uh, and B-roll, of course, is the footage that we use to tell our story uh, outside of the Talking Head interviews. Of course, the way you tell stories, uh, documentary-wise, are it's changing. It's becoming more cinematic these days. You can tell your story however you want. Some people don't even use sit-down interviews. So um, I went through and I selected the parts that I really liked. And I'm going to move some footage over here like this. And now it is protected and it's all whole and I can... Right, let me move things around here and let's see what we're looking at here. So, I want to see his face first. All right. I'm Adrian Yanez and I'm a mixed martial artist. <laughs> now, we, now we hear the audio, right? So, uh, you can leave audio on in the background, but you want it, you know, it's just a, it's just a choice, right? But, um, a gentleman I worked with for for a long time. He wanted it. He wanted the volume to be in, but very low. Some people want it out entirely. Martial artist. I've been training for MMA for for about like twelve years. And so you know, we decide what we want the audience to feel, right? That's what this is all about. And so um, you know, by cutting to this. Martial artist. I've been training for MMA for for about like twelve years. For so he's saying he's been training in MMA for 12 years, and we're seeing him do some pretty uh, advanced moves, and we can see it. We can see 12 years of work. I see it. I don't know. 
And so, and then uh, we, we go back to... 12 years. For, for me, um, well, I, was, I was the youngest. Uh, I was like, I'm the youngest brother, but also... A separate idea, right? Now, so now we're on to a different trajectory, right? So now we can return back to him. It's a different beat, different, part, different place uh, in the story, right? Um, and uh, so what do we want to support this? I was the youngest. Uh, I was like, I'm the youngest brother, but also my older brother and my other cousin, my older cousin, we always hang around, hung around a lot. So I was kind of always like the little one who got picked on. Yeah, so, um, you know, so now we want to find maybe, so we're, so we're talking about family. Since this is still locked, I'm going to go ahead and pull this in here like this. You don't have to lock it, but it's just an easy way I found oops, to um, to organize my footage. So I'm going to cover it up with this. Okay. And I have here pictures of the family, and so now this, this might work. But we want to revisit him first if we're going to move to new ideas. So here we are. Mixed martial artist. I've been training for MMA for for about like twelve years. For for me, I, well, I was I was the youngest. I was like I'm the youngest brother, but also my older brother and my other cousin. And so now he's getting into more intricate idea of some kind. So we just maybe it's time to go back to see his face, you know. But um, obviously with uh, with B roll. Um, which is this support footage that we have here? Um, yeah, we want every we want things to usually be in line with what we're talking about, what we're what, what we hear the interview, uh, where, where we hear the interview going. Um, you can make choices that are more ethereal or more uh, subjective, or you know you can cut to anything you want to tell a story, and um, you know and just as long as it, it it's it supports a point of view of some kind. This is what we have so far. And I probably wouldn't put these two pieces together normally, but I just want to give you an example. I'm Adrian Yanez, and I'm a mixed martial artist. I've been training for MMA for for about like 12 years. For for me, I, well, I was I was the youngest. I was like I'm the youngest brother, but also my older brother and my other cousin, my older cousin, we always hang around, hung around a lot. So I was kind of always like. Yeah, and so it's, that doesn't sound perfect, but it's uh, we can clean that up. You can make people say. Whatever you want, we don't want to, want to manipulate them to say something that's against what they uh, were were going to say. But we can cut around. Uh, you My know. older cousin, we always hang around, hung around a lot. So, I was, um, so if, if we wanted to fix that, would be older like cousin, we always hang around, hung around. We always hang. We always hang around. We say take the hang. Always hang around, hung around. Or we turn it to hung. Let's see how this goes. And it's an option delete. So um, Apple A, move it over. Uh, all right. Cousin, we all hung around a lot, so I was kind of. So now we fixed it, and so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over. So now look. I was the youngest. I was like I'm the youngest brother, but also my older brother and my other cousin, my older cousin, we all hung around a lot, so I was kind of always. Well, you know, yeah, it sounds kind of rushed, but you know, you get the general idea. You can massage it and mess with it. So, um, look, I mean, we can. Um, uh, it would it would take a long time to, to build a story from scratch, um, but I just wanted to give you the general idea of putting your stories together and presenting your ideas, your point of view, um, and and this is how I, I go about assembling a project. You separate the B-roll from your story, you build your story out, get it to say just what you want, and so you have that foundation, and then you put the B-roll, you build it on top of that. That's a good, solid way to make a documentary. Uh, when it comes time to, to export, um, you, uh, you can get rid of all this now and all the B-roll. Now we have our main timeline and we just type I for I and then we type our out point where we want that to end. Um, and we just want to export, right? So here's um, kind of exporting 101, okay? Export media and this window comes up H.264 is pretty common, and that's really what nine times out of ten people are going to ask for. People are in need, right? And um, you have all these options here: uh, match source. Um, sometimes people will tell you exactly what they need. I typically stay with Vimeo 1080p um, or YouTube. Um, I'll go YouTube for now, and so we're all set to go. And uh, we have we set this to go to exports, and we can just export and it'll take as long as it takes so that I'm gonna go ahead and cancel uh, so thank you so much um, 
that is uh, just a quick tutorial on getting started with Premiere and storytelling and editing in Premiere. And I hope you took something away from it. I'll be available at the Q&A uh, later this month. And you can also send me any questions you may have anytime you want. Uh, thank you.